all right this video is going to be shown to show you how to put together the high power uh 2c right rated uh 7s battery module right um the regular modules look like this right they use this type of uh holders and this is a rated for 1c right so equal the output is equal one the capacity of the cell so these are 3400 or 3.4 amp hour cells then you could safely remove you know 3.4 up to like four amps continuous they'll do right so it's around 1c or less uh also that uh translates to about 100 watts then these right look slightly different these have the surface mount holders that are you know that have copper terminals here and so they can handle a bit more power and so these are rated at 2c and also because they're surface mount it allows you to very easily also put them double-sided so which one board will be able to handle double the amount of cells so 14 cells per board and at 2c we'll be able to do somewhere around 15 amps so about 200 watts per side so times two that's about 400 watts total uh per board so now that we know what this looks like let's build it let's put it together let's wipe this whole thing we're gonna start with this connector right here uh what you do is you pick the top side of the board right top side and then you go from the p plus right ignore the dt so what you do is you put the connector here and of course this one this connector has a key you could put it this way or you could put it this way you can choose there's not really a, a difference it's just preference but whatever you do if you're gonna stack multiple of these boards you just gotta make sure they're all the same you can't have some like this and some like that because then it's not gonna work so I like to do the uh, key weight towards the outside, so let's do that. There we go. Then you flip it around, you do the other side. There we go. All right, next, the, there are a lot of types, different types of these uh, holders and we just couldn't really find they have these little nipples here to um center them but we, we there's so many that we just couldn't f f you know put the right holes for all of them so as it turns out you might have to depending on the, the, the type of holders that you get if you're buying the kits from me so you're gonna get these so you what you have to do is remove those little those little things and all you have to do is use you know some clippers like this there we go and you want to do that because if you don't then they'll uh they'll prevent you from from sitting all the way to the bottom which then looks funny and it looks all crooked it looks like you didn't do a good job aligning them so here's what you have to do start with the first ones here all right it's three of these guys and one of those and then you put some solder on all of these guys there we go solder there solder there make sure you use an extractor or yeah make sure you, you use an extractor or you do this in a well ventilated area you don't want to be you know uh, breathing all these fumes especially on these nasty let free solder and stuff. Okay, once you do that, then what you can do is you align them here perfectly here. You put a little bit of solder on top just to transfer the heat. Look at that. Perfect.
right here we go next you turn it around and i suggest you start by doing the fuse first and you do that by putting solder on one side all right uh using some tweezers here you'll open one of the fuses you will only need one but including there a second one just in case for some reason you blow it then you have an extra one there so make sure you you save it in a place that you can find it later when you blow that one fuse for some reason okay and hopefully you can do a better job than me because that took a long time and that sometimes can ruin the fuse so you want to try and do it as quick as possible next you lay out the other side do the same thing you pre-thin everything here okay next you just put them on here line them up as best you can Right, and that's it. That is basically uh, a finish module, right? That's, those are the basic parts. There are some optional parts that you can use, like these M4 terminals here, right? You can put these in here. On the back ones, you can use them. Uh, they're not electrified. On the rear here, they're not really electrified, so you can use them to mount these boards, right? To mechanically mount them somewhere. In the front, they are electrically connected, right? So this is the positive and this is the negative. So you can use those to put terminals uh, or to attach cables or whatever. Also optional is uh, an XT60 connector, right? So you have to make sure and do is make sure the polarity is right. This is the negative. This is the negative that's the positive. So it would go over here. So it goes on the bottom of the board. Here's the bottom on the bottom. So opposite from this guy, right? And then you could use that one in there. As far as all the other hardware, these are four nylon standoffs. You can use these to isolate. Yeah, so if you wanna use the, these right here to secure to a cabinet or something, then what you can do is use these as isolators. And then what happens is then you put some other ones in here, right? And then you can use these to attach to like a, the bottom of the cabinet or a box or something. And these are not electrified. These are electrified, but these are not because you're using these, uh, you know, plastic. Then finally, the screws can be used also to attach these standups here, right? And these are space correctly so that when you mount with cells in here right this is what two modules put together looks like so the cells have you know they have a little bit of room in between but not much i mean these cells are pretty tight and this spacing works out perfectly for that so what you would do is you would add this module on top of that right and then you would have three modules there so this is how you assemble the high power uh 7s battery module right using 18650s and this is perfect for 2c applications so where you can this you want to discharge your battery in half hour right so whatever battery you put in here whatever cells that you put in here if you want to discharge them as quick a uh, faster than than so less than one hour then you would have to use this right here this will give you about 400 watts per module right so in this case there are 400 watts here you're looking at 800 watts here so you add an extra one here you're looking at more than a thousand watts so this is considered high power as opposed to the other one that it's a 1c system all right for more information check out uh, kit.com forward slash jehu uh, and you can look at my kits there and i have all the other videos for all the other pieces along with this we also have this board is designed to go on top of here and then it'll show you the individual cell voltages you know in a graphical form as well as a bms board right this BMS board would go here and then you would 
use this to charge the batteries here and discharge the batteries and these will keep your battery safe will keep them from overcharging or over discharging so kit.com forward slash jehu and then i have you have links there to get all these other parts in here so you can make a battery a complete battery system all right see you in the next video bye